Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Recent reports from South Korean business magazine Business Korea, dated March 27, 2023, suggest that Latvia is leaning towards enhancing its military capabilities through the acquisition of South Korea's Advanced K-21 Infantry Fighting Vehicles IFVs. Manufactured by Hanwha Aerospace, the K-21 is poised to become a cornerstone of Latvia's combat vehicle arsenal, as the Latvian Ministry of Defense embarks on a comprehensive evaluation process to select a suitable IFV to bolster its armed forces' capabilities. The procurement project, which outlines the acquisition of 100 state-of-the-art IFVs, underscores Latvia's commitment to fortifying its defense capabilities. Among the contenders vying for this significant contract are Hanwha Aerospace's K-21, the Asgard by General Dynamics European Land Systems, and the Tulper from Turkish defense manufacturer Otokar. However, after undergoing rigorous testing conducted by the Latvian Armed Forces in October 2023, the K-21 emerged as a front-runner, outperforming its competitors notably in terms of mobility and firepower capabilities. Designed to modernize the Republic of Korea, ROK, Army's armored capabilities, the K-21 represents a significant leap forward from its predecessor, the K-200 series. Developed by Doosan Infracore, a subsidiary of Doosan Corporation, the journey of the K-21 began with the delivery of prototypes to the ROK Army in 2005, followed by its production commencement in 2009 under a substantial contract with the South Korean Ministry of Defense. Armed with a formidable two-man turret, the K-21 boasts a 40mm cannon, two anti-tank guided missile launchers, and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Its advanced armament, coupled with its robust armor system incorporating layers of glass fiber, ceramic, and aluminum alloy, ensures superior protection and firepower on the battlefield. Moreover, the K-21's operational crew of three members, along with the capacity to transport nine fully equipped soldiers, underscores its versatility and effectiveness in combat scenarios. Powered by a turbocharged diesel engine generating 680 horsepower, the K-21 IFV achieves impressive mobility with a top road speed of 70 km per hour and a maximum range of 450 km. Designed for amphibious operations, the K-21 can seamlessly transition to water activities, demonstrating its versatility across diverse terrains. Latvia's potential selection of the K-21 highlights the growing recognition of South Korea's defense products on the global stage. With notable contracts secured in Poland and Australia, South Korea's defense industry is increasingly acknowledged for its advanced technology, reliability, and cost-effectiveness. This trend not only reflects a shift towards diversification in military procurement but also solidifies South Korea's position as a leading exporter of cutting-edge military hardware worldwide. As Latvia moves closer to finalizing its decision, the potential acquisition of the K-21 infantry fighting vehicles signifies a significant milestone in bolstering the country's defense capabilities and further strengthening ties between Latvia and South Korea in the defense sector. That's all for now, see you later.